What's up, guys? It's Luke back with another video. Today we're doing NFL quarterback tier list for uh, the upcoming 2020 season. I thought it'd be fun to do one of these. I saw some other uh, YouTubers do them. So we're just going to, you know, dive right into it. I do have the uh, community ranks right here. I did take a peek at those. Um, it's not going to influence my decisions, though, for uh, my personal tier list. So let's just uh, get started right away with Alex Smith. Um, I'm going to say after that, uh, the gruesome injury and coming back, I'm going to put him at average. Eh, maybe unknown. I'm going to put him at average. Uh, if he comes back and plays and does well, he, he'll go into the above average category. That's for sure. Suffered a, one of like the most gruesome injuries we've seen, honestly, in the NFL. Uh, his leg pretty much exploded. But he is uh, fully cleared to play, so that's pretty cool. We'll see uh, how that goes. Josh Allen next up, Bills QB. Let's put him at average. I think he's pretty average. Um, you could argue above average. Made it to the playoffs last year, but um, we'll put him in average for now. Baker Mayfield. Again, I would say he's probably average. He, uh, he did break the uh, rookie touchdown record i believe uh his first year so he could go he could be argued above average i'm gonna put him in average because he's a he's a brown um and then here we have a uh, ben roethlisberger this is a hard one he could honestly i'm gonna put borderline elite he could be argued easily but he's borderline elite he did get injured last year so it kind of takes some points off but when he does play he's a good quarterback he's Always been kind of like top five quarterbacks in the league for for a while now, so we'll leave him up there. Drew Brees, he's elite. He's a uh, what he's able to do with the Saints' offense, crazy. One of the best quarterbacks we've ever seen. He's definitely elite. I would put Cam Newton. Cam Newton, this one's hard too. Let's put Cam Newton probably above average. His uh his first couple seasons were great, but he kind of has had, as of recently, some uh, down years because of injuries. But uh, he's on the Patriots now. We'll see. Maybe he has a great season. Uh, Derek Carr, he's going right in average. Uh, if he does something in the playoffs, in the playoffs, or uh, you know, has some uh, crazy numbers, we'll put him in above average. But for now, I would say he's an average quarterback. Kirk Cousins. He's right about the same as Derek Carr, uh, right there in average. He does have a great uh, defense to back him up. He, he last year didn't even have to throw that much. I think he was probably like through the least of all the starting quarterbacks because of how good uh, Dalvin Cook played in their defense. Jameis Winston. Uh, let's put him. He's unknown because he apparently had eyesight surgery because he couldn't see right. And uh, he was able to go, was it 50 for 50? 50 touchdowns, 50 interceptions, something like that. Um, but let's see what he does this year with his uh, eyesight surgery. Uh, I'm going to put him in unknown for sure. Uh, Dak Prescott, he's above average. He could be argued borderline elite, but no. They got to do something in the playoffs for uh, me to put him there. Let's go. Uh, this is Sam Darnold, right? Yeah. Okay. Sam Darnold, he's unknown. He could be argued below average. Uh, yeah. Let's put Eli in average. He could be argued above average, probably because of the Super Bowls. Um, but really, he's just like uh, the Patriots kryptonite. So we're going to put him in average. And we got Fitz Magic. This is a hard one. Uh, he's unknown, right? He's got to be. Because sometimes he's up here, and sometimes he's down here. So he's got to be unknown. He is an uh, interesting man. He's fun to watch. He's been on like eight teams, I think. Maybe more. Eight different NFL teams. Uh, next up, is this Nick Foles? Yeah, okay. Next up, Nick Foles. Um, he's average. He won a Super Bowl, just like Eli. Um, hmm, yeah. He's definitely average. 
I would say Jared Goff. It's hard because he's got one of the best uh, offensive-minded coaches in Sean McVay, which uh, definitely helps him a lot. Uh, we'll put him in above average, I guess. Yeah. Same with Matt Ryan. He's above average. He's a pretty good quarterback. Uh, he's had Julio Jones the whole time. Um, yeah. Eh, he could honestly be argued average, but we'll put him above average. Let me make sure none of these guys are better than these guys. Okay, yeah. No, we're good. Looks good. Eli could honestly be up here just because, like I said, the Super Bowls, but other than those Super Bowls, there's not much really to show. But I mean, a Super Bowl is a Super Bowl. Joe Flacco's a tough one being a Ravens fan. I think we need to keep the trend and put these uh, three Super Bowl winning quarterbacks in average because honestly, they're pretty average. They could all... Mm, Nick Foles is average. They, these two could be argued above average, but we're going to keep them in average. It's like we have a lot of average QBs, but also Joe Flacco could be unknown. He could be, he could be elite, but uh, the whole meme is Joe Flacco elite. Now we're gonna stick him in average. Uh, if he if he ended better, he could be above average, but uh, he's now like the th I think he's the third string quarterback on, not the Broncos, the Jets maybe. I don't even know, but uh, yeah, he didn't have a good season last year. Uh, it was tough to watch. And we got Jimmy Garoppolo. He's definitely above average. He's uh since he's been a starter, he's been pretty good. So he's above average. He uh brought the team to the Super Bowl last year. Lost to the Chiefs. Is this Trevor Simeon? Who is this? Oh, Case Keenum. Case Keenum. Below average. <laughs> is he our first below average? Yeah. Case Keenum below average. We have Lamar. Uh, we're gonna put Lamar. In um, he's definitely elite though. Yeah, he's elite. Lamar's elite for sure. Um, season MVP, brought the team to a fourteen and two record. Amazing player. The only thing is, he got a he won number one too for. NFL top 100 voted by the players, which is pretty cool. So he's definitely elite. Let's be real. I see in the community though, he's a, uh, where is he? Above average? Uh, no, he's at the bare minimum. He's borderline elite, but I'm going to put him in elite because we're a Ravens fan. Uh, he needs to win a Super Bowl though, hopefully. And uh, then he'll really uh, cement his spot in elite. So next up, Philip Rivers. He is above average for sure. He's always had really good numbers, pretty much. He has had a really good offense for the most part, but uh, Phillip Rivers, is he's been an above-average quarterback most of his career. And now he's on the Colts, right? Yeah. So we'll see. He might have a really good season this year. Who knows? Um, This is Andrew Luck, right? Yeah. Andrew Luck, he was above-average. He really was. Uh, He retired, though, so not much to say on that. Let me make sure this is Luck. Yeah, okay. Um, next up, Marcus Mariota. Honestly, he's below average, I would say. I don't see this is hard because unknown, like, is that really is unknown really between average and below average? Like But I'm gonna say I mean he's not horrible. He doesn't he might be here. This one's hard. We're going to keep them in below average. They always, the Titans always just rely on their run game and have a great defense. So the quarterbacks don't need to do too much. So, and Mariota was never like the best passer. So, yeah. We're going to go below average. Mitch Trubisky, same thing, below average. Uh, he's not the best QB. He could be maybe argued an average, but um, I mean they just gave Nick Foles a big contract and he's a uh, he won a Super Bowl, so we'll see. Mahomes definitely hundred percent elite. 
He's got to be the number one over here. For most elite. Uh, Mahomes is a beast. Last year's MVP and this year's Super Bowl MVP. So he's, uh, he's pretty much the best quarterback we've seen for a while. Uh, and we'll see if his uh, resume keeps uh, increasing with wins and whatnot. So next up, we have, what is this, Dalton? Red. It just says red. It's the red rifle. Andy Dalton. <laughs> That's funny. Um, he's an average quarterback. Uh, he's had A.J. Green. He's... Oof. Honestly, Andy Dalton's below average. The Bengals haven't done shit, and they've had A.J. Green uh, for a while, and Andy Dalton's never been... Uh, amazing quarterback. He's been good enough to be a starter, but he's definitely, I would say, below average. Uh, Russell Wilson, he's elite for sure. Up there with the best. Uh, since he got into the league, he's been one of the top uh, dogs at quarterback. Same with Aaron Rodgers, elite. They went on a... They were 12-4 and four last year or something. Something near there. Pretty good record. Aaron Rodgers, great quarterback. One of the best. He belongs up over here. Um, Josh Rosen, below average for sure. Yeah, good thing they have Kyler Murray now. Kyler Murray, we're gonna we're gonna save him, but honestly, we know where he's going. Uh, Matthew Stafford, he could be argued above average, but he's a pretty average quarterback. Ryan Tannehill, um, he did get some time to play with Megatron, which was cool, but uh. Yeah, I would say he's average. Ryan Tannehill, same thing, average. Uh, they did pretty good in the playoffs this year on the back of Derrick Henry. So, kudos to them. Let's see, Tom Brady. He's obviously elite. Great player. Um, six Super Bowls going on seven, possibly. That's what he wants to do. We'll see if he can do it. Tom Brady, definitely elite. Uh, Deshaun Watson, we just threw him into borderline elite. He's close to elite. Uh, if he could like win a Super Bowl, be in a Super Bowl, he might uh, get up there. But he's a great quarterback. He's borderline elite for sure. And now we have Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is above average. He's better than Nick Foles for the most part. You know, he's he belongs with the rest of these quarterbacks, I'd say. They're all... Uh, you know, above average, good quarterbacks. They're not amazing quarterbacks, but they're good quarterbacks. Uh, yeah. These guys are pretty dang good quarterbacks. These guys can win the game on their own. These guys, you know, they need their supporting cast to uh, really make some great plays. But let's move on. This is Dwayne Haskins, I believe. Yeah. Um, unknown. Haven't seen much. Uh. He played, I don't even know how many games he played last year. He played majority of the year, I think, but he's still a rookie, so it's hard to uh, tell with him. Who is this guy? Is this? Who is this? I don't know. They don't say. Okay, let's just skip him for now. Who is that? I don't know. Uh, let's put Kyler Murray. He's above average. He could, uh, yeah, he's above average. He'll probably end up, you know, around here. Not going to lie. But for now, what we've seen is good. He's uh, above average going on his second year. Daniel Jones. Um, I'd say he's either uh, below or unknown. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He's unknown. He had a couple good uh good games last year. And honestly, who is this? Let's check where they put him. Okay. It doesn't matter, I guess. Please tell me who this is in the comments. This is gonna piss me off. I literally know who it is too. I just can't think of it. Anyways, he's going in below average, whoever it is. Let me know in the comments who that uh player is. Let's compare side by side now. The community versus uh ours. Whoa. Okay, that's going to be hard to do. There we go. 
So let's see the differences that we have. So let's see elite. Obviously Lamar, like I said, they did him dirty. Put him in above average. Borderline elite, Matt Ryan, Watson, Phillip Rivers, and Carson Wentz. Okay. Okay. I still agree with my list a little bit more. Not going to lie. I don't think uh, we're not going to. Yeah, I don't think Baker Mayfield is above average. I mean, he could be argued that because of his uh, breaking the record, but last year was kind of ugly. And uh, average looks, we have a lot more in average than uh, unknown. It looks like unknown is where a lot of people go. We just put a lot of people in average. But, hey, looks pretty similar. We, uh, we did Mitch Trubisky dirty and Mariota dirty and Andy Dalton dirty, apparently. But uh, that's our list. Let me know what you think, what you agree with, what you don't. Uh, you know, hit me with a like if you want to. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.